Hey guys, I'm Prajakta from Pretty Crafty Tales. Yeah, I don't introduce myself in all the videos because I just forget doing that. Anyways, so today this is a little bit different um, setup and I am at my actual small white desk. Uh, it was very difficult to, to set up a camera here because it's a very small space. So anyways, but I have some journaling to do now. Uh, after a really long time and I know you all enjoy journaling sessions so I just wanted to show my current journals so these are the blank notebooks which I'm using as journals but there are other pre-made journals as well which I'm using so this is from a magazine which I'll probably use today this is something I made I mean I painted this is something I did using leftover uh, paper which I had painted for a project. Then these are uh, my new watercolors. So I made swatches for that. And I um, those were actually, I can show you that right now. So these are the new ones. Oops, it has come out. So these uh, these cubes came wrapped in these uh, things so I just utilize those things to stick in my journal I love this uh, palette very much this is just something I sprayed I think I oh yeah I bought few art supplies recently and I have uh, those inks there which I'll bring out now so I just wanted to test those which I did here then here I just painted something uh, just to match this washi and this washi is actually made out of leftover sticker paper and I foil painted and foiled over it so these pages are almost blank um, these notebooks are by the ink bucket which I bought in 2018 I guess and this is the other one so this is uh, mainly a scrap or junk journal kind of a thing both are junk journals basically but this this is more of a junk journal because I have literally stuck just extra or leftover vinyl on most of the pages here as you can see these are just the samples which I did not want to throw this is a stencil which I tried and I did not like it much I wanted to try this texture using modeling paste this is using a stencil I made uh, out of paper, thick cards of not plastic. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this is out of um, just scrap paper, different envelopes which I got and just leftover sticker paper and dashboard which I printed. Some letters which I got in swaps on, or just short notes these are all the leftovers of vinyls uh, so I was quite new at uh, vinyl decals decals I don't know how do you say that anyways um, so uh, and I really adored these shiny things so I instead of throwing in the dustbin uh, of course later on I had to throw the other ones in the dustbin but uh, the initial ones I just <laughs> want to keep it in my journal or just keep it somewhere so that you know I can uh, look at the uh, shiny things and be happy so these don't make any sense but I just wanted them as big samples in my journal so yeah I am going to do some painting and some crafting today I'm not sure exactly what and how uh but yeah let's see and i hope you enjoy this video so now uh, i'll be uh, moving on to voiceover or just some music because i have to speed this up later on otherwise you'll get bored it will be a really long video anyways i hope you enjoy this video and let me know in the comments um of this video if you liked it and what else would you like to see bye see you these are some of the books. Now this is a storybook which I'm currently reading. Uh, I plan to use the illustrations from these later on in my crafts and journaling. 
so uh, i was just having a look at these books uh, to see what i can use for this project and then this one and the next one which i'll show these two books have been given to me in a swap um, i think she was from uk and i sent her some sequins <clears throat> And then she sent me these books uh, this Daphne's diary is really famous and it's really pretty and useful for crafting so we don't get this here in india it's particularly in uk or in netherlands i guess so yeah i was really happy to receive this and i end up using stuff from this diary uh, for this journaling project so now i'm just taking a look at what can be used so as you can see i have already used few things from this so i saw this cute illustration uh which i really liked and uh looking at this i thought i can make some journaling page related to goals because um there's this cute squirrel i guess chipmunk i don't know uh who is uh you know who has food food around him and um, he's really stuffed so uh what i thought is one of my goals for 2020 is not uh, eating a lot and not eating junk food much and eating healthy so that is why i thought of using that cute illustration then of course florals are my favorite so that is why i thought th i thought of using this and um yeah there are few other floral things that i'll be using for this project and i hope you um, <coughs> enjoy seeing this process it's going to be quite a long video but i hope you enjoy this um as you can see the colors that i chose are mostly pink and blue and yellow those are my favorite colors and i mostly use those in my journaling process or even in my planner and stuff so yeah i'm i usually share a lot of these things on my stories on instagram even though there are not many posts related to uh, journaling so here i saw these images which are related to tra travel and i saw some of those which were you know um kind of uh, looking like what my uh, what i want my um, dream destination to be so i used some of those and then there was this uh, pretty floral illustration which i used so i'll be showing these uh, cutouts to you later on even though you can't see them right now clearly then um, yeah i'm cutting this image which i don't end up using because i uh, could not see where it was uh, i saw it later on but then that time there was no space on my journaling journaling page for it so that is why i didn't use it maybe i'll use it later on <coughs> So yeah there is one more page which i use and that's really pretty it's one of my favorite pages i have used it before yeah this one i just love the colors and illustrations on this it makes me so happy hmm so yeah i wanted to incorporate this uh, small hill um uh, because it's really pretty and i was able to do that successfully so in this project i also used some foil um i had used foil uh, i mean i do make foil <coughs> sorry foil planner stickers uh but it, i tried using foil on a handmade postcard which was the first postcard i made um and it really looked pretty so for this one also i wanted to try it and it looks pretty i guess This is the same palette which I showed you before I guess in this video and I'm using mainly the yellow color and the blue color from this
hey guys so till the time <coughs> with the things are drying i thought i'll show you these stencils which i recently bought <coughs> i'm so sorry so these are from icraft uh, i actually bought few stencils from a local like a physical store uh, and i wanted some more designs but did not they did not have more designs so i thought uh, i mean i just noticed this icraft thing and then i saw their website i guess i'm not sure they have their website store and online store and so i uh, looked up and i okay this one is for that and i bought a few stencils which they had they have a lot of variety so these are not perfect i mean oh, i don't know if as you can see they are not 100% perfect but they work really well so uh, yeah if you're looking for stencils they have a lot of variety and i think the prices are quite good uh, so i bought a few of these i wanted the i mean there were something called as reverse stencils where um, i think this is a reverse stencil probably I'm not sure one of it i think this is a reverse stencil so yeah what basically i feel is like the background uh, will be colored and yeah as you can see all this will be colored but um, for example if your background is black or if your background is yellow and then you put the stencil and then uh, you use a sponge or anything something that you use for uh, doing this thing so you use that and then you cover it up uh, with some other colors say for example blue or red a contrasting color so once you lift up this stencil what you'll get is um, this part which is covered will stay yellow and the remaining background which you have co colored will become uh, red or blue whichever color you have used so I, uh, there was a really pretty butterfly stencil but then i ordered it and then they called me and then they told me that it was out of stock so sadly i did not get that one so these are the other ones that i got i bought uh this yeah this was the earlier one earlier one which i had this another one which i have um so uh, i bought the stencils which i could use on any back any uh, in any project i did not uh, get anything that has just a bouquet on it or just some words on it because then once or twice or thrice if i use that stencil then i'll get bored uh using these patterns i can make a variety of uh, designs uh, i can use texture paint or modeling paste or gesso or any other just different colors of paints and i can keep them in different directions and just you know different permutations and combinations and use these stencils and make it look different so that is why you basically um bought these ones which could be used in different ways uh so yeah these are the stencils now let's check if the paint has dried uh gesso will take a lot of time to dry but the paint will get dried soon so let's check that <laughs> 